She was on the telly the night Nettie got shot. She branded everyone as scumbags. She should have turned around and said, I know that deceased man, I know right. that family. You are in her area. And she should have said it. Nettie's funeral. She should have went to it. She has amnesty from anything like that. She stayed away from that funeral on purpose. But you were good enough, Gerard, to use for votes. You were good enough to use for money. I know that man. In this next extract, Jonathan Dowdle and Jerry Hutch discuss the Kinnahans. How did they get so big, so strong? They used the best of the young fellas. Blinded by greed. It's not just the money, it's the bleeding power as well. With the Kinnahans, it's the power, yeah. They want to be the biggest gang in Europe. The Colombians all would have to come to them. Don't think any country in Europe would let them in now, do you? I'd say any country in Europe they go to, they'd be scourged in until they leave. The court heard Jerry Hutch and Jonathan Dowdle discussing the involvement of Northern Republicans in brokering a ceasefire and peace deal with the feuding Kinnahans. Will Kinnahans meet them? I'd say he will. I'd say he met them in London. In this part of the tape, Jerry Hutch remarked on them playing Both sides. To which Dowdall repeatedly said They won't do that, Gerald. And they would fuck too many people over. Later in the tape we hear I told them. I said I can't wait for the election. I hope the Shinners take over and set up their own hit squad. When speaking about the Republicans, Dowdall said They are getting the cream of the crop of so-called gangsters in Dublin. Mr Hutch said they were Dictators. And wanted to go in with an Iron fist. And Don't want to take any advice off us. Dadol says Jared, I'm in this with you till the bleeding death. He told Mr Hutch he did not think it would be wise to Let them cut off the hook. And they had killed his brother. And they're killing people in the community. 